Coronation Street star Catherine Tilsley revealed she's been moved to tears by the swell of public support following her role in Aidan Connor's suicide storyline. The Factory Boss final scenes aired this week, with actor Shane Ward at the heart of the hard-hitting plotline to raise awareness of male mental health. Catherine, who plays Aidan's ex-girlfriend Eva Price, shared the majority of his on-screen farewell as he visited her in a country cottage. Aidan seemingly admitted he knew Eva had given their child to best friend Toya Battersby in a secret adoption agreement and told her he loved her, before they shared a hugely touching last dance ahead of him taking his own life. For various reasons. Your tweets about last night's hashtag Cory have moved me to tears. Thank you. So proud to be a part of this storyline hashtag it's ok to talk. Kath Tilsley, at Kath underscore Tilsley, May 10th 2018 as her Twitter account was flooded with messages from heartbroken fans Catherine, who will also quit the ITV show this summer, took to her page to confess. Your tweets about last night's hashtag Cory have moved me to tears. So proud to be a part of this storyline. Fans were quick to react underneath, with one writing, I didn't start to cry until you did. Thank you. For various reasons. You were amazing at Kath underscore Tilsley. Another put, such honest performances and true to life that everyone reacts different. Hopefully everyone suicidal or not will feel they can talk about their feelings, while a third took the time to write, Hi Kath I think you and Shane have been brilliant. I will miss you both you should both get awards. On Wednesday, viewers were left devastated for the brassy barmaid after revealing they hoped the pair would give their love another go. Aiden and Eva split last year after his affair with Maria Connor, which Eva exposed on their wedding day. Eva recently confessed to Aiden that she was pregnant with his baby but his reaction then led to her pretending he wasn't the father. If you have been affected by this story, you can call the Samaritans on 116-123 or visit www.samaritans.org.